We're so excited. Um, Chris was kind enough uh, to do transformations on two of our VFFs, Jamie and Maria. And I can't wait to see them, and we'll get to them in just one minute. But I was wondering if I could um, pick your brain for a minute, Chris. Please do, Drew. Well, you know, when I would go to salons and I would change my hair, which was every other day because I tried every cut, color, and style, I would always bring magazine references because I was positive that it was going to get something lost in translation. I think a lot uh -huh. of the pictures people probably bring in are the people you, <laughs> the very hairstylists and giant stars that you have done. Like, okay, for example, the glass hair trend. That's something that yep. everybody's obsessed with. And you really started that with Kim K, if I can call her yeah. that. Yeah. Kim K, call her Kimmy, yeah. Um, she, um, we, we actually started that back in Paris um, a, a while ago. And, you know, it was just this very straight hair and we tried to get it shinier and shinier and then, it became, you know, a big thing. And yeah, you're right. I guess, you know, I forget that the women I work with are, I guess, so known. Um, and I kind of like it that way just because, you know, we have a great relationship. They're amazing women. Um, and we love to create different looks. Um, so the fact that, you know, these things become then a trend and, and sort of take off, it's always so exciting to see. Um, but you know what? You got it right, Drew. If you're ever going to go to the salon and ask for a look, taking a picture is the perfect way to describe it to your hairstylist because it just stops you getting lost in translation. Oh, and I've had those moments, which is why I bring those references. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a little scary. Uh, can I just say, actually, Drew, you've been uh, you've been on a few of the mood boards before with your back in the 90s of the clips. And you had some do's. You've had some looks throughout the years. I love it. Thank you. I tend to think like hair first. Uh, I, certainly as an actor, I would find my way into a lot of characters with the hair first. I was like, what is that frame? And... You know, it was just a really good entry point. Um, and I always love people like Barbara Streisand and Jane Fonda and Madonna and Lady Gaga, David Bowie, those sort of, um, you know, and Kim K car calls you a transformationalist, like, <laughs> person because it does change you. It changes your attitude, your confidence level. It gives you kind of a new attitude and character. Hair is a big thing. And it's an important Huge. thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What's a good product to get that trend of glass hair? Um, one of my favorite go-tos is the Dream Coat. It's Color Wow's Dream Coat. It's a transformative kind of, I guess, prep to the hair. So you put it on wet hair, and it basically changes the whole texture of hair once it's dried. And it also has like a waterproof technology. So it has a sealant against any water or humidity, because everyone knows that's the worst thing. You do your hair and then you go outside and the weather changes it. So that's one of my go-tos for glass hair, for sure. Um, but, you know, just going back to what you were saying, Drew, actually, about how you get ready for characters, it's funny because I guess every time I work with the clients that I work with, the first thing I always say is like, okay, who do you want to be? You know, for example, if it's J-Lo, I'm like, are you, are we, is it Jenny from the block? Is she movie J-Lo? Is she, you know, uh, performance J-Lo? Because everything is a, like a different character that you're kind of stepping into and everything tells a story, which I think is, I guess, why I started doing hair. I mean, I used to do my mom's hair when I was nine years old because, I mean, ironically, I used to try and make her look like a Hollywood star because creatively I liked it. But when I told her to stand up and look in the mirror, I would see her shoulders go back and she would forget for a minute she was a mum of five and she would feel herself. And I remember that feeling was like so infectious for me, making people feel good about the way they look and, you know, kind of giving them their alter ego, if you like. Um, I guess it's still why I do it. You know, it's still that kind of process of just making people look and feel great because that's when the magic happens, right? It does change the body language. It changes the confidence and it changes the inner dialogue. 100%. And do you know what? To take it a step further, I even saw it like going a stage further. Like I, I actually started to work with cancer patients. That's how I started to work with wigs. Like now I work with wigs with celebrities, but back then it was working with these women that I knew that were really strong women and they were reg regular clients. They had cancer, they lost their hair and they would come in and they would have lost their identity. And my job was to like give them their identity back and make them feel like they could somehow, you know, face the day. And it was almost like emotional medicine. And there, there's so much behind it. But honestly, just, you know, the main story is that great hair really can, you know, make your day feel better and just make you be able to go ahead of, with it with more confidence, which is, you know, for me, why I do what I do. I, I love it. 
some of our VFFs um, wanted to come to you uh, and have yeah. you come to their rescue. Shall we take a quick look at Jamie? Let's roll Jamie, the tape. We had some fun. We had some fun with oh, us. I can't wait to see. Hi, my name is Jamie. As a busy mom of five and a full-time nurse, especially during the pandemic, it's been super challenging to find time for myself. One thing that I really, really need help with is my hair. I'm totally clueless when it comes to blow drying my hair. So my hair is super thin. I know there has to be some products out there or styling tips that can help me get some volume, maybe get some lift up here. Drew and Chris, I really, really need some help in the hair department. Can you help me? Jamie, Hi. how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm so excited to do this with you. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Color Wow Raise the Root Volumizing Spray. We're just gonna spray this through the roots, just all the roots, get some love. So you should have a round brush. You take that section, lift it right up in the air, and then just literally wrap it around. And what we're gonna do now, Jamie, is because the hair's not wet, it's not gonna take long to dry in. All we're gonna do is dry the product in. You should get that face framing kind of volume at the front. We like just kind of put the Velcro roller in and let it sit. If you leave them in five or 10 minutes, it's great. Jamie, we're gonna take the texturizing spray and then just blast it through the roots. Now, this basically just gives your hair a little bit more volume. At this point, I just like to blast the hair dryer through and just shake it all out. Just using your fingers to shake out the waves. Jamie, I can't wait for you to show this look to Drew. I think this is a bit of a showstopper. Jamie is here to show us her final hair transformation. I'm sorry, I'm mesmerized. Jamie, welcome. Ah! Way. <laughs> How are you? Take you out, Jamie. You did it, you bombshell. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Love Jamie, it. You look so gorgeous. Thank you. I mean, this is very different hair than where yeah. you started. Yep. I, 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 I'm Jamie, give us a swish. Let's see that. Let's see your hair move. I yeah, that's it. I can't, I can't believe. <laughs> that my fine, thin hair could get so much volume. But after your lesson, Chris, I, my, it goes back and forth anywhere. But the biggest thing I think was uh, realizing I could style my hair dry. Just put a little product yeah. in there and do it and it looks great. And Jamie, we did it really fast, didn't we? We literally turned okay. that around in a few simple steps. Yeah, so simple. And Jamie, you are a knockout, a knockout. Oh, Seriously. All right. Thank you, Jamie. Um, we're gonna take Killed a look it. at Chris's um, Thanks, Chris. next hair transformation. Here's Maria, take a look. Hello everyone, my name is Maria. I'm an 18 year old college student. For the past 15 years, my hair has been the same. Honestly, I'm getting bored of it. I recently just turned 18 and I really needed to feel my most confident self. I am the biggest fan of Ariana Grande and I think everybody knows her signature ponytail that she does I think perfecting this Ariana ponytail would really give me that boost of confidence that I need. Drew, Chris, can you help me? Maria! Hi, Chris. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you how to get this Ariana Grande inspired ponytail. Take the hairspray and we're effectively just going to spray it throughout the root section of the hair. Using the cool favorite hairspray, um, I am an ambassador. This is my favorite stuff. So, Listen, it's all about the cheekbone. To get the perfect ponytail placement, you want to follow this cheekbone. Wow, I can already see like a difference. Okay, so a bungee elastic looks a bit like this, guys. I put the hook in underneath the ponytail and then wrap it around. I tie it again with a second elastic. We're going to tie it an inch above the ponytail that we just did. We have this magic powder. So this is the Colorwell Root Touch-Up Powder. What I do is I go in and just fill the hairline out Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do then is just take a small strand of hair like this, just enough, we're going to wrap it around the ponytail, the Ariana Grande style. Wow, Maria, that ponytail looks amazing. I did not wait for you to show through. This is a showstopper. And Maria is here now to show us how she looks. Maria! Hi. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be here. Chris has changed my life. He's changed the game for my hair. I mean, like, look at it. I feel beautiful. I feel so confident and amazing. I love that. Chris, it looks she so looks good. She looks insane. She looks so good. Yeah, it was so simple and easy. And 
I didn't realize what a beautiful ponytail and like so professional could take such less time. And you guys can do it too in the comfort of your own home. I mean, it's so easy and simple. I just think you look gorgeous, Maria. Thank you so much. And Chris, um, you use some of the products from Color Wow with Jamie and Maria, and you're the global creative director for that brand. And guess what, VFFs? You are all going home with a detox kit from Color Wow, and that includes some amazing goodies for your hair.